there matey welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do a little makeup tutorial for you guys this is of course a makeup tutorial inspired by pirates i wasn't sure if anyone was going to dress up this year but these kind of transformations are my absolute favorite i literally wait all year round just to do these kind of makeup tutorials anything character based whether it's fiction or non-fiction i absolutely love so i really wanted to do at least one makeup tutorial for halloween i wish it wasn't just halloween that we get to dress up i wish there were like different holidays where you can dress up as different characters that would be so much fun but i digress i did a captain jack sparrow inspired makeup tutorial a couple years ago i will link that down in the description box below for you guys and as always all of the makeup and clothing details will be in the description box below as well and if you can do me a favor and click that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it it won't cost you a single doubloon it is completely free, I promise. And go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, so trust me, you don't wanna miss out. All right, just scallywags, if you guys are ready for this makeup tutorial, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, so first I am starting off with primer, of course. This one is a pore filling one. And then after that, I go in with a dewy highlighting face primer just on the high points of my face and I'm just making sure it's nicely blended out with a thick dense fluffy brush now I'm going in with this brow pencil I'm just shaping my brows as best as I can and filling in any gaps or bald spots in my brows with I decided later to go in with a darker brow powder to not only set the eyebrow but also to give it some more structure and make it just a little bit more bold. Then I'm taking this really beautiful maroony brick red shade and I'm just applying that all over the lid. I'm using a very small, dense eyeshadow brush to really pack on the color and then later on I go in with the same color with a more fluffy brush and I just buff it into the crease to make it a little bit more smoky and blown out. Next I'm taking this black shade and I'm just buffing it into the outer corner as you can see here and for a little bit more precision and um, to create more of like a wing I am using this tape here to kind of guide the shape a little bit. And I go back and forth using a very tiny precise brush along with my big fluffy brush with the same shade, the same black shade. And with the tiny brush, I'm packing on more color and um, kind of blending it in towards the inner corner. And with the fluffy brush, I'm making sure everything is nice and blended out. Then I'm going back and forth with the maroon shade and the black shade just to make sure that I create a very flawless ombre effect. I didn't really want this look to be full out glittery, which is very unusual for me. If you know me, then you know I love glitter. But I did want to bring a little bit more light to my eyelid. So I'm using this absolutely beautiful metallic maroon shade from the Mothership palette. And then from the same palette, I'm using this creamy highlight shade for my brow bone highlight and my inner corner highlight. And for the inner corner, I ended up foiling the shadow a little bit with some setting spray to really bring out the color. For the bottom lash line, I'm going in with that same maroon shade and buffing that out. And then I'm going in with that same black shade and buffing that out on the outer edge of the bottom lash line and making sure that it connects to the top wing that we created. And here I just noticed a big smudge from the maroon eyeshadow. I have no idea how that happened, but no worries. Just use a Q-tip with some makeup remover and since we didn't do our foundation yet, it's no big deal. I like to map out my wing liner before I go in with the heavy duty gel liner. So I'm just using this marker eyeliner and just mapping it out and making sure 
that I like the shape and then I'm going in with this really beautiful ink gel liner <laughs> and um, it's actually from Pretty Vulgar. It's super gorgeous and it stays on forever. So I highly suggest that you use a gel liner, especially if you're going to go for a party or something. It's very important that your eyeliner stays put. So highly recommend this gel liner. I also apply this gel liner on my waterline and tight line with it as well. Next, I'm just curling my lashes and then adding some volumizing mascara to both the top and bottom lashes. Here, I'm just taking a Q-tip with a little bit of makeup remover and just cleaning up the edge of my little wing here and making sure it looks nice and sharp. Alrighty, now it's time to move on to the other eye. I am just taking a brow pencil, a very light colored brow pencil, and mapping out the eye patch shape that I want. And I'm looking back and forth at reference pictures to make sure that I'm getting the shape correct. Don't worry about it being perfect. Um, you will go in with eyeliner and everything like that later on, but you just want a rough sketch of what you want the shape to be. Using a steady hand, very carefully sketch out the eye patch strap on both sides of the face. Now I'm going in with a marker eyeliner and I'm just tracing over the shape I just created just so that I have some clear edges and I know exactly where to fill in the shape. Next, I'm bringing out an oldie but a goodie. Do you guys remember these NYX jumbo pencils? I feel like at one point, every YouTube beauty guru had these jumbo pencils and would use it for everything. This one is in black bean, I believe, and I'm just using that to fill in the shape. I first go in with just the pencil alone and then for a little bit more precision I'm going in with an angled brush and carefully filling in the shape. For the eye straps I decided to just make them a little bit darker with a marker eyeliner because the jumbo pencil is really really smudgy and so when you wear a hat or a headscarf or whatever it's going to definitely smudge on you. Um, so, speaking from experience, so therefore I am using a marker eyeliner. You definitely want to set that jumbo pencil, so I'm using the same black eyeshadow. I would suggest a darker black eyeshadow. The Lorac Pro one is not very dark, it's kind of more like a gray, like a charcoal gray. So if you have a really pitch black, dark eyeshadow, I would definitely go for that one. And make sure you're doing this in a padding motion. You really want to push in the product. Um, if you do it in a sweeping motion, it's going to lift up that jumbo pencil underneath. I'm taking a break from the eyes and I'm moving on to the face. I'm just mixing two different foundation shades to get my perfect match. So you can totally avoid using two different foundations. That's just what I'm doing here. And to blend out the foundation, I'm using a much smaller dense brush because I don't want to accidentally mess up all the eyeshadow and all the work that we did on the eyes. So I'm very carefully blending out the foundation. This will most likely create a lot of brush strokes, so I'm just going in very carefully with a beauty sponge to kind of blend out all of those visible brush strokes. Then I am using a very precise angled brush and I'm carefully applying the foundation around the eye patch and the eye patch straps. And you want to take your time with this or else this will happen. The black marker will mix in with the foundation and create a streak, but again, no worries, just use a Q-tip and carefully wipe it away, and then reapply that foundation. 
Now I'm going in with two concealers. This first one is a couple of shades lighter than my actual skin tone and this is just for highlight. And the second one is more of my exact skin tone shade and I'm just using that for spot correcting. Then I'm using this darker concealer to contour my face. And again, I'm using that same dense, precise face brush and I'm carefully blending everything out and making sure that I don't mess up my eye makeup. And when you're blending out these colors, make sure to start with the lightest color first and then the medium and then go on to the darkest. And just like the foundation, I'm going back in with a beauty sponge to blend out any brush strokes. Next, I'm taking this banana powder and I'm baking under my eyes and on the high points of my face. I wanted a bit of a sharper contour, so I'm using a cool tone contouring shade and I'm just hollowing out my cheekbones and the nose and all that just to get a sharper look. I'm going in with a very small amount of setting powder and just blending that over my contour and everything just to make sure that it has a very flawless blended finish. But I am avoiding the eye area because I still want to bake just for a little bit longer. Next, using this handy dandy rhinestone picker upper and some eyelash glue, I'm going to be applying these little nail I think they're nail gems actually but um, they're kind of like little nail rhinestones and I'm just carefully placing them um, around the edge of the eye patch just for a little bit of bling of course I had to for blush I'm using this beautiful shade by the balm and it's more of a neutral mauve shade and it kind of picks up the shade of the eyeshadow which is what I was going for and I'm actually applying that pretty much on my contour and also at the tip of my nose. Taking a big fluffy brush I'm blending away that baking powder that we had on and I'm also just going over my entire face and making sure everything is nice and blended. I actually ended up using two golden highlights of course, pirates, we love our gold. So first I'm going in with this one by Fenty. And then I went in with a lighter gold and even more metallic highlight. And with a more precise brush, I'm just applying that on the very tip tops of my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose. I also added a little bit on the brow bone as well. Now I'm taking a darker maroon lip liner and I'm just creating the lip shape that I want and then filling it in. I'm going to be using two lip colors to create an ombre effect, of course, my favorite type of lip. So I am first going in with this darker red shade. This is a matte shade. And I'm focusing this shade on the outer edge of my lips and I would suggest using a lip brush for the most precision. Then I'm going in with this gorgeous bright red lipstick and this is also a matte lipstick and I'm just applying this in the center of the lips. Using that same lip brush, I am blending the edges of where those two different lip colors meet and I'm creating the ombre effect. And I personally like to blot my lipstick so that it creates more of a matte finish and it helps the lipstick last longer. You also don't want to forget that makeup setting spray. It's very important to not only set your makeup and make sure it lasts long during your Halloween party, but also to avoid looking chalky. And boom! Cue the transition. You are almost finished. Um, now it's time for the costume, of course. Like I said, I will tell you where I got everything in the description box below but um, you don't have to really buy a costume, especially for this. You can easily make stuff from home, use stuff that you already have. For the white shirt, if you don't have a big poofy white shirt, borrow your dad's or your husband's oversized white shirt and use that. 
you know, I love DIYing costumes, so just get creative. And for the headscarf, I mean, you can use a tie if you'd like, but make sure that you bobby pin it in place like I'm doing because that sucker is well, slipping all over the place. And here I am adding the hat, but that's when I remembered that I totally forgot to add falsies, so I'm just adding some that I got from the Halloween section at Walmart. And I just added it on the eye that is the red eye, not the eye patch eye, just the red eye. And I decided to add a little corset and a jacket. Um, this jacket is extremely hot. It's like completely woolen. It, I don't know, but I was totally feeling myself in this outfit, as you can tell. <laughs> and that will complete your makeup transformation. All right, you scallywags. Land ho! <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys are doing this Halloween. Are you going out, partying, trick-or-treating, or are you staying in, maybe having like a movie marathon? Let me know down below. Also, if you guys recreate this makeup tutorial, please tag me in it so I can repost your recreation. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!